Day five of a seven day, nine game road trip was a successful one for Southern Ohio as they win their third game in the row by a score of seven to three against the Dayton Docks. And well, Jake, uh, we said it in the press box after the game, a solid effort. I mean, the batting was good, the fielding was good, the pitching was terrific. They're coming together as a group. Yeah, definitely. And this was a complete win, another one. They sweep Dayton, the Dayton Docks in the season series, and it was a hot day. I mean, it was over 100 <laughs> degrees just regularly, but on this turp field uh, that we're on, it was over 140 degrees in the field. So absolutely insane heat. Uh, but Blake Bottoms gets his first win of the season, six innings pitched. He did struggle with walks, but you know, he, he told me after the game there's a lot to do with the heat, too, a little bit. Um, but he did to get six strikeouts, was good enough to get the win. Only two earned runs given up. The offense was good. You know, the power streak continued. Now seven home runs, or the you know, seven home runs for this team. Uh, seven of their 11, I should say, coming in this week and this road trip. So they've, you know, seven home runs in the past five days. Uh, as today, you know, Dan Schmidt went deep and, and you had a couple other uh, big hits. Blaze Salter was great. Lorenzo Papa had the one go over the, or go off the foul poles. You know, it was another complete game, another good win. Now four and two on the road trip. And you've taken care of business against the teams at the bottom of the league. Now you got to do a good job against a team and a very good Cincinnati team tomorrow. After Bottoms left the game, the three relievers that came in, Cody Mizell, Eric Shanahan, and Josh Rader, threw three scoreless innings. As always, they were great. And like you said, the lineup was very good. I feel like, you know, there's more to come. I feel like we're just, you know, starting to catch stride with everything. We're all, uh, you know, we're really a cohesive group. You know, we're starting to, you know, get along a lot better. And we're, you know, with all these road trips, you know, we're starting to draw a lot closer to each other. So, you know, I feel like, you know, there's... Uh, the best is still yet to come. With the win, Southern Ohio goes to 12 and 7 on the year. They're, again, they're on a three game winning streak, and tomorrow they will continue this long road trip as they play two games against the Cincinnati Steam in Cincinnati. The game times are 2.05 and 4.35, uh, tentatively, of course. You can check into that game on copperheadbaseball.com, as always, to listen to Jake and I. And also, make sure you go to all of our social media, go to our Facebook page, our Twitter page, at Go Copperheads, or our YouTube page, search Copperheads Baseball. But with that being said, Copperheads are a winner. He's been Jake Corgan, I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a Copperheads Recap.